there's a certain beauty to making plans in a physical sewing planner. Just writing down ideas and drawing sketches, it's really fun. But that's not always practical. Sometimes a digital tool is quicker, easier, and ensures that you actually follow through with your sewing plans. In this video, I'm gonna talk about five digital tools that can help you plan your sewing and how you can combine them to create a planning process that works for you. But before we get to that, if you're someone who's interested in making your own clothing with more intention and joy, you're definitely in the right place here at Seamwork. So hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can follow along with us and never miss one of our weekly videos. I personally love to use analog mood boards and paper and pens and scissors just to gather my sewing ideas and inspiration, but I often find that I need different tools to actually organize it into a concrete plan. So I've used a few different digital tools to do this, and I wanted to share those with you today, along with tools that seam workers and our community have recommended the most. So if you're looking to create a better process for planning your sewing and you want to do it digitally, stay tuned and you'll find some new apps that you can try. There are a few tools we recommend for multi-purpose planning, like tracking your fabric stash, your pattern collection, setting up a sewing queue, and you can do that all in one place. So first let's talk about those. Trello is a Kanban style tool that you can use to organize your fabric stash and set up a sewing queue. This tool is best if you're a visual person because it's all visual. You can create boards that contain lists of individual cards and all of this can be easily moved around. There are a few ways to organize your lists on your board. Set up lists for each garment type, like tops, bottoms, lingerie, outerwear. You can set up lists for each fabric type. You can take photos or screenshots of the fabric you have and note the yardage. You can even note if you've pre-washed it or not. You can create a queue by making lists for what to sew next and what you've already made, including photos of your finished projects. You can make the most of Trello by using tags, which you can filter to find things easier. And it also has a really great search function. You can also link cards together, so you can link fabric cards to pattern cards, for example. You can even attach the actual pattern files in Trello, so you have everything you need in one place. Milanote is another tool for organizing creative projects, so you can use it for creating mood boards, project lists, and fabric stash organization. Like Trello, you can add images, notes, checklists, and files, but Milanote is a little bit more freeform, which can help to boost you creatively. Browse their templates to see all the different ways you can organize your ideas. Unlike Pinterest, you can really customize your boards, which makes Milanote a much better tool for creating mood boards. However, Pinterest isn't going away anytime soon, and with some of the new features for organizing boards, it's become a really powerful tool for gathering inspiration and setting up a queue. We have an entire video on our channel specifically talking about how to use Pinterest to plan your sewing, so we'll link to that down below. But the most important thing to remember about Pinterest is that you can make sections in all of your boards, which is a really handy tool for whittling down both inspiration and creating a rotating queue. If you want to see how we use Pinterest, check out our other video. Now that we've covered some catch-all tools, here are two more tools that'll round out your sewing plans, Google Drive and Procreate. Google Drive is an easy, searchable tool for organizing your digital pattern files. Create folders by garment type or by pattern designer. You can also star your favorites. For a minimalist sewing queue, you can create a folder with the files you're gonna sew next. Procreate is a tool that you can use to sketch your sewing plans. If you can't use Procreate specifically, look for Sketchbook for Android. You can import your croquis or pattern flats as a JPEG or a PDF and keep them on a separate layer. Or use a stylus or your finger to sketch your own flats. Get creative by sketching or using prints from your fabric. This is really fun if you're going to quilt fabric or do any kind of color blocking. So that's it for us today. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to let us know by hitting the like button. And be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you get all of our weekly videos. You know, sometimes there really is just no substitute for pen and paper. So we have a free downloadable planner that you can either print or fill out digitally. Download it at seamwork.com go slash free dash planner and we'll put a link to that below. And if you enjoy planning and you like creating mood boards and making a sewing queue, you'll want to sign up for Design Your Wardrobe, which is our course that's free for Seamwork members. You'll get daily videos, worksheets, creative exercises, a planner, and a private community to support you so you can create your own personalized queue of projects for the next three to six months. We'll also put a link to design your wardrobe below.
And if you'd like to join Seamwork and become part of our private community, plus get access to hundreds of sewing patterns and dozens of sew along classes, YouTube subscribers get a 50% off lifetime discount when you join at seamwork.com slash go slash YouTube 50. And we'll put a link to that below too. So wherever you choose to join us, I hope you have a great rest of your week. Remember to have fun and be yourself because that's what sewing is all about.